All right, it's Barry, and today on Grow It, I'm gonna show you how you can make your very own tomato hanging basket. Tomatoes are one of my absolute favourite things to grow and I can't wait for all the tomatoes to be ready in the summer. And if you haven't tried growing your own tomatoes, you won't believe how much better they actually taste than the ones that you get in like the supermarkets and the shops because they haven't been transported around and refrigerated and things like that. They just taste absolutely amazing. So if there's one thing I'd really recommend growing this year, if you haven't already, it is tomatoes. And I think I've had the allotment now for three years in August this year and I've grown my tomatoes in grow bags and uh, pots and the raised bed last year. They all got hammered with blight so I didn't even get any tomatoes off those. Uh, and they've all had mixed results really, uh, they've all been perfectly fine but this year I've dug out the beds in the greenhouse, I've got the new beds in there and I'm growing them in the ground and they're absolutely amazing. They're probably the best tomato plants I've ever grown. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how the tomatoes and everything turn out on there because the plants are super healthy. In fact, they're going absolutely mad. So I'm gonna to have to get in there this week and start cutting them back and everything already. I've already got canes in there, uh, which is I think a bit earlier than I'd normally have them in. So yeah, they're doing absolutely amazing. But if you haven't got a greenhouse or you haven't even got a garden outside, maybe you've just got like a balcony or something, you can still grow tomatoes using hanging baskets. When it comes to selecting the tomato variety for your hanging baskets I'd recommend using a smaller tomato variety like a cherry tomato so maybe something like a gardener's delight uh, we've got like in the UK we've got cherry falls cherry crush things like that that make small tomatoes because usually they make loads of flowers absolutely tons of tomatoes and they just make really nice hanging baskets because they'll produce like loads and loads and loads of vines and everything and they'll just really fill it out really nicely and you'll get tons and tons of fruit so yeah I'd go for the smaller varieties and the bigger ones the really not as good because they tend to make the, the, the one bigger vine with the bigger tomatoes and the weight will be all weird and everything so yeah go for the smaller ones because they just look better as well like I mentioned, I'm going to be using Gardener's Delight. I've got two plants ready to go to put in there. And I've also sewn up some Cherry Falls, which I originally intended to go into the hanging baskets. But uh, yeah, they've not grown quite as quick as I expected them to. But I did have some spur Gardener's Delight anyway. So I'm going to do one with the Gardener's Delight tomato plants today. And then I'm just going to get some more hanging baskets. And I'm going to do a couple of them anyway. So as soon as they're a little bit bigger, they're just about there now. They're maybe, maybe another week or two, they'll be ready to go in and then I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine and they'll catch up anyway once uh, once summer gets underway. So I've got everything we need on the table to make this tomato hanging basket and it's a really quick, cheap and easy job. So let's have a look how to do that. I'm gonna have to use the wide angle lens because it's all absolutely massive, but I'll do my best in here anyway. It's normally sowing seeds on here, but yeah, we'll do the hanging basket, see how it turns out. Right, here we go, here's my hanging basket and it's just a normal cheapo hanging basket. I think it was uh, $2.99 from Home Bargains and it's got one of these uh, little cocoa fiber hanging basket liners in already and that stops all the uh, soil from falling through obviously and then underneath here I've just got a normal grow tray and that is just going to stop it from falling over you can use a pot as well I've just not got enough room under here because I've got all the uh, all the plants on the rack above it so yeah uh, here's my tomato plants and these are gardeners delight and they're a bit big now I would have liked to have done this with them when they were a bit smaller but I've obviously been away and everything so yeah I wanted to um, wanted to save them for this and I'm, I'm sure they're going to be absolutely fine uh, I've got two of these here and I'm going to be using two in the hanging basket just to balance it out and I'll, I'll show you more on that in a minute. Uh, first job I've got to do here is get this little chain in the middle out of the way. Uh, obviously we don't want to be burying that so yeah I'll get that out of the way first. And I think oh, it's got some little clips on it I'll just move it out of the way for now. I'm sure it'll uh, yeah, I could have just unclipped it, but yeah, I'll, I'll move it there to the side. That's going to be absolutely fine as long as it's not in the way. I can straighten it all out later and untangle it. No doubt it'll end up in a load of knots. But yep, there we go. That's ready now. So uh, here's my compost. I can just probably fit this on here. Uh, this is just a regular peat-free compost. You can use whatever soil you want in this, I suppose. Uh, I'm just going to be using this stuff. It's full of sticks and everything. It's pretty low quality, actually. It was a bit better when I got it from there last year. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be absolutely fine. 
There we go, that is pretty much half full now. And on top of this, I'm just gonna sprinkle on a layer of these little slow release nutrient ball things, so that once the nutrition's gone from the uh, from the compost itself, these will be releasing in there and it won't run out and they won't be sort of malnourished and everything. Especially where we've got two plants going into such a small space, it's a bit better to add a bit of supplementary nutrition just to make sure they get off to a good start. Uh, just give those a bit of a mix in and then I'm just gonna put another small layer over the top of that and then we can get these tomato plants in. There we go. I think I'll put it just so it's a bit higher at the sides so that we can get the uh, tomato plants in and then sort of uh, sort of tuck them in with the soil and everything. Uh, yeah we'll, we'll have a look how we get on first and then uh, put some more in I think. Move this out of the way because no doubt I'll knock it off. And here we go, here's the tomato plants. And as I said, these are gardener's delight. These are uh, a bit big, but I'm sure they're going to be absolutely fine. Uh, maybe in a week or two with the other ones that I showed you earlier, the um, the cherry falls, and I'll be getting those into one as well. And you just take your pot off like that and then here let's have a look at this root ball. Uh yeah, it's looking really nice actually. Uh Actually, yeah, they're probably a, a perfect time to be doing this. They're just getting ready to fill the pot out and they'll be perfectly fine to start spreading out into this hanging basket. So rather than stick them in sort of facing upwards like you normally do when you're doing a hanging basket, I'm just going to lie these down on the side, just on the side of the pot there. And it's really important as well to sort of take note of where the, uh, where the connection points are for the chains as well because uh, they're obviously going to affect the balance of it and everything. It's just another thing to consider when you're doing a hanging basket is uh, the balance points and everything when, when you're filling it up so yeah put it there so it's down there at the side we're facing off to the side as well and then we're just going to give it some support all the way around with um, with some compost and then we can just bury it as far as uh, as far as that goes in a bit and I'm not actually sure whether I need all these little leaves here on the bottom so I'm just going to pinch these off as well um, there's no point burying them. If I pinch them off now, it'll just make a bit of a higher point for the roots to start developing from uh, because tomato roots can develop from absolutely anywhere on the plant. So as long as that stem is touching the soil, it'll start taking root. And then, uh, yeah, just get another one and Really, this hanging basket would be good for one plant, but because of the, uh, like I say, because of the weight, it's better putting one on each side and then balancing it out because obviously these are going to grow loads of tomatoes and roll, like the stems are going to grow and everything. So it's going to be quite heavy. And once that plant starts to grow, it's going to start tipping up and it's going to look a bit daft. So like I say, put another one facing the opposite direction like this. Uh, just dig that out a bit there so there's a bit more room. Um, and yeah, that's just going to hang over the side and gravity is going to do its work and like I said just pinch all these bottom leaves off it, it doesn't need them um, and then the roots can grow out there yeah like I said the gravity is going to pull this stem over the edge and as it grows longer and longer or what would have been taller the weight's going to take it over more and it's going to be perfectly fine but it's going to grow down and hang down the side which is what we want and then it's going to start growing loads of flowers and I'm not actually sure I've never grown one of these before so I don't know if it's going to start trying to correct itself and sort of curve upwards or whether it's just going to accept its fate and carry on going downwards I don't know so I'm really interested to see how this turns out and yeah just fill up the rest of it now with some compost um, yeah this compost is rubbish it's full of sticks uh, yeah just keep filling it up until it's absolutely full to the top and then it just needs a really good watering And there we go, that's full up to the top and it looks a bit burr obviously, but it's not for looking nice with flowers and things, it's for growing fruit. So yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be fine, but maybe I'll do a test one as well. It'd be really cool to put some marigolds in there, wouldn't it? Like uh, some companion plants in the basket, that'd be a nice idea. So yeah, maybe I'll do a test one as well uh, and try that out as well. But yeah, that's done. So all it needs doing now is this needs hanging up, give it a good watering, and then we'll see how it turns out later on in the year. And there we go, that is hanging up in the polytunnel and it weighs an absolute ton and I've not even watered it yet and it weighs an absolute ton. So if you are going to hang one of these up, just do consider as well that once the plants start growing and the tomatoes start growing, it's going to weigh a lot more, especially once it's been watered as well. So do pick somewhere really, really strong to hang it up, like a railing or something, something that's not just going to give way and fall out once it starts to grow.
There we go, that is done and it's hanging up now in the polytunnel and come some of that, it's going to have absolutely tons of tomatoes on it. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with how that gets on, how all my other tomatoes and everything get on and all my other videos in between as well. I've got absolutely tons of videos about tomatoes, so do check those out on my channel as well. And let me know in the comments if you've tried growing tomatoes in hanging baskets before because I haven't and I'd really like to find out how you got on with yours and whether I'm wasting my time, but I'm sure it's going to be absolutely fine. So yeah, don't forget to check out all those tomato videos. I'll see you next time.